let me speak very clear to the people who have been wreaking havoc on our community. We are going to find you. We're going to hold you accountable. Antioch Mayor Lamar Hernandez Thorpe announced new actions the city is taking to put an end to the spike in violence over the past few weeks. A shooting Labor Day weekend set off a string of shootings, 15 so far, which led to two deaths. The mayor is asking outside agencies for help with additional patrols. One agency has taken us up on that offer. We're excited. I'm not prepared to announce what agency that is, uh, but we will be working to finalize those details. The mayor also sent a letter to the county DA's office asking for the support of the Safe Street Task Force and reached out to the CHP to help with patrols. The mayor says most of the violence has been limited to a three block radius in what's known as the Sycamore Corridor. He says if the violence continues, the city may take more drastic measures, such as imposing a curfew. The chief right now is at the county chief's meeting, echoing that sentiment to the other county chiefs for assistance to address this regional problem. Captain Joe Vigil says they've added more beat patrols to the area, which he says is working. No shootings over the past 72 hours. He says no arrests have been made, but they're building their investigation. There is a lot of information out there that they're compiling, putting together, trying to get cases ready to present to the DA to move forward with arrests and accountability. There's a difference between turf wars and gang wars. And I think what we're dealing with here in the city of Antioch right now is not, a, is not I think it's turf. Antioch City Council member Tamisha Torres Walker represents District 1, which includes the Sycamore area. She supports the mayor's call for help, but she cautions against just blaming outside influences. You have this level of con conflict because there are people who are trying to maintain control of their territory. And I think it's unfortunate that the city of Antioch didn't address these issues years ago. The mayor says outside patrols will begin within weeks in Antioch on Sarhassen, ABC 7 News.